from food preparation to emergency response deployment, these inventions help militaries achieve victory on the battlefield. Join me for today's video as we take a look at 15 incredible military inventions. Number 15. Night Vision When the sun sets and there's very little natural light, it becomes almost impossible to see what's around without the assistance of an artificial light source. This, of course, is impractical for looking over a wide area, and that's when we turn to night vision cameras. They're now commonplace in homes around the world as part of security systems, in our cars to improve safety at night, and in other various applications. But the original idea behind it came from Germany, while the Nazis were trying to improve their military capability during the Second World War. They were the first to develop devices similar to those that we use today, just towards the end of the war. They were beginning to add night vision scopes and range finders to tanks and assault rifles. This gave their troops the ability to continue fighting after sunset, which would have been an extraordinary advantage if it had been introduced earlier. And it's a technology that militaries around the world rely heavily on in conflicts today. Of course, the earliest designs were primitive compared to what is now used, but with the option of detecting heat sources or picking up on infrared light that's reflected back from a source in the device itself, the technology is now present almost everywhere you go. Number 14. EpiPen if you or someone you know suffers from severe allergic reactions or another condition that potentially requires the immediate injection of medicine to remain safe, then the chances are you'll be more than familiar with what an EpiPen is. They have been credited with saving thousands of lives since they were first used for civilian purposes, but they weren't originally conceived as a game-changing medical device. The first ones were created by Sheldon Kaplan, a researcher at Survival Technology in Bethesda, Maryland in 1973. The concern was, with the ever-changing face of the battlefield, soldiers were increasingly at risk of being attacked by a nerve agent, and there was very little time to respond and treat anyone who had been. The device known as a combo pen was created to instantly deliver a dose of the antidote directly into the bloodstream to give them the best chance of survival, and devices like this are an important part of battlefield equipment to this day. Still, it was when Kaplan adapted the device to be compatible with epinephrine, which helps people who are suffering from anaphylactic shock, that made such a significant invention, and despite having his name on the patent, Kaplan's association with military research meant that he was only inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2016, seven years after his death. Number 13. Digital Cameras Digital cameras are used in such a range of different ways, from being in smartphones and tablets as well as computers, televisions, and cars, and as their own standalone devices, too. But we haven't always been able to quickly snap images or record video and watch it back instantly. Photography used to involve capturing an image onto film, which would need to be processed, either in a home studio or a camera store. And there weren't any filters or clever software that can be used today to improve the image quality. Surprisingly, though, digital cameras weren't the result of the photography industry trying to develop the next big thing. And in fact, many of the leading companies tried to prevent the technology from reaching consumers because it destroyed their business. The origin of digital camera technology can instead be traced back to the 1970s to enable spy planes and satellites to capture high-resolution images of enemy compounds that could then be easily transmitted back. The first self-contained digital cameras were built for spies to use undercover during the Cold War, but it took more than 20 years for the technology to be cheap enough to be mass-produced for the consumer market. And now, a few decades later, it'd be hard to imagine the world without them. Number 12. Frozen Juice Concentrate when you're sending large numbers of troops overseas, one of the most difficult parts of supporting them is ensuring there's enough nutritional supplies. This became a real problem for the U.S. military during the Second World War and led to the invention of a food processing technique that's relied on heavily in commercial markets to this day. In 1943, the USDA and the Florida Citrus Commission worked on a joint project to develop a frozen juice concentrate that could be sent long distances. At the time, orange juice that had been frozen and then thawed would take on a rather unappealing brown color with a bitter taste and was called battery acid by soldiers. The USDA scientists found that by adding a small amount of orange juice to the concentrate before freezing it would preserve the color and the flavor, with the process being patented in 1945, but made available to anyone who wanted to use it. 
Minute Maid first began selling it commercially in 1946, and drinks based on frozen juice concentrate are now the most commonly consumed fruit products in the United States. While the process was originally specifically developed for orange juice, the same method can be used with a wide variety of other fruits as well, and revolutionized not only the juice market, but substantially improved the nation's health, because valuable vitamins and minerals became available like never before. Number 11. Blood Banks and Transfusions Whenever someone needs to undergo an operation, we take it for granted that the hospital will have bags of blood that can be transfused if necessary. And to build up this bank of supplies, we're also used to the idea of blood drives, where volunteers are asked to give donations. It's a fundamental part of modern healthcare, but the idea of blood banks and transfusions didn't come from civilian medical requirements and were instead the result of military needs. The First World War saw devastating injuries on a scale that had never before been seen, and the field medics were at a loss as to how to deal with the horrific traumas they had to deal with. A Canadian lieutenant, Lawrence Bruce Robertson, was the first voice to push forward the idea of blood transfusion techniques to save the lives and limbs of the wounded. But to begin with, there was a problem. The blood had to be transferred directly from person to person. This quickly led to the development of storage techniques and the organization of blood banks where the different types of blood were on hand for whenever needed. When civilian medical facilities saw the potential benefits of these technologies, they soon adopted them, and it's regarded as one of the most important medical developments of the 20th century. Number 10. Microwave Ovens Despite having been used in the First World War, the Second World War was truly when military aircraft came into their own. And not only did researchers begin working on deadlier aircraft, they also began developing techniques to detect where enemy planes are in the sky. This was the origin of the first radar systems, which worked by using microwaves. By complete accident, one of the engineers testing a new system at Raytheon noticed that a candy bar in his pocket had melted, and it was soon realized that microwaves could be redirected and used instead to heat and cook food. Essentially, the tiny electromagnetic waves that they produce are able to vibrate the molecules in food, which heats it up with a form of radiation that's safe for humans. Within a year, Raytheon had filed the first patent for a microwave oven and had manufactured the first commercial one in 1954 that was the same size as a refrigerator. Seen as one of the most important kitchen appliances of all, it's believed that as many as 9 in 10 U.S. households now have a microwave, and they're equally as popular elsewhere around the world. Number 9. Super Glue Anything that researchers can develop to make weapons easier to use and more effective on the battlefield is surely worth the investment. And in 1942, a number of companies were exploring ways to find new materials that could be used as clear plastic gun sights on weapons. While trying to do this, Dr. Harry Coover, a chemist working for Eastman Kodak, accidentally created cyanoacrylate, which was extremely durable but found to be far too sticky, so was rejected by the military. Nine years later, while experimenting with the substance again, one of Coover's colleagues complained that the substance had ruined his lab equipment, and it was only then that he realized the commercial potential. First sold as superglue in 1958, and famously demonstrated by suspending a car from a crane, it became commonplace on the shelves of stores around the world ever since, and even found a use with the military too. During the Vietnam War, military surgeons found it to be highly effective for spraying over wounds to instantly stop them from bleeding, and this bought them more time to operate and save far more lives. Since the development of the first superglue, which is still sold with an image of a car hanging from a crane on it, chemists have found many more compounds that act in the same way, but cyanoacrylate was the one that started it all. Number 8. Ambulances no matter where you are in the world, if you're involved in a serious accident, you'll most likely want to call an ambulance where the trained medics can look after you while driving to the nearest hospital. To us, in modern society, it may seem like an obvious service to offer, but they haven't always been available to people, and their first use can be tracked back to the late 15th century in Spain. It's believed that the original ambulances, which were horse-drawn, were created by the Spanish military to take care of their wounded soldiers, something they had a lot of at the time because of continuous military campaigns. They usually waited for the battle to have ended before they arrived to retrieve any survivors, and this meant that many would die in the meantime. An increase in the number of ambulances led to them being used even when fighting was ongoing. 
and they were credited with saving thousands of soldiers, and their use soon moved into civilian circles too. Of course, ambulances were truly revolutionized with the introduction of motorized vehicles, and what was originally a last response unit of the Spanish army is now the first response unit of medical institutions worldwide. Number 7. Penicillin Medical treatment advanced substantially during the 20th century, and it's no coincidence that it was the century that saw two huge wars taking place. Before then, there were no antiseptics or antibiotics, and with so many people suffering from severe injuries and infections because of fighting, these were soon developed by accident and have now saved countless lives in civilian as well as military environments. Alexander Fleming was a captain in the Royal Army Medical Corps during the First World War and had witnessed many deaths of soldiers as a result of infection and sepsis. The antiseptics being used were rarely effective and even detrimental when used on deep wounds, so he was more than aware of the problem that was being faced. Years later, while conducting unrelated experiments in his lab, he accidentally created a type of mold that he realized was inhibiting the growth of bacteria. This would become known as penicillin, which was the first antibiotic and was mass-produced in time to treat wounded soldiers during the Second World War. It was one of the most significant medical advancements of all time and opened up a whole new realm of treatments, which have now saved millions of lives and increased the life expectancy of most people on the planet. Number 6. Weather Radar the first types of radar systems were actually developed by German physicists in the 1800s when they realized that radio waves could be reflected by solid objects. The technology really came into its own though during the Second World War when it was used to track aircraft, but while using it for this, researchers noticed something unexpected. The radars were picking up other objects in the sky that weren't aircraft, and after extensive testing they realized the radio waves were also bouncing back off weather systems. Clouds would cause echoes and interference with the readouts of the machines, but as technicians found ways to overcome these issues, they also formulated techniques to analyze the data and monitor the weather to a point where they could predict rain, snow, hail, and even more. This, of course, was useful for military technicians to know the weather they'd be facing, but the commercial applications were clear to see too. What began as a way to detect enemy aircraft led to the creation of the first purpose-built weather radar and led to a much deeper understanding of weather systems and how they develop. While weather radar systems are far more accurate than they were back then, they are crucial to modern life to provide our daily weather forecasts. Number 5. Drones it seems as if almost everyone either has or knows someone that has a drone, which range from cheap RC machines to professional-level filming equipment, and their prevalence has forced governments around the world to bring in rules about where they can and can't be used. Of course, they weren't originally designed for consumer electronics, and these devices that more than most have a military background. They originated with unmanned aerial vehicles, and some of the earliest of these were developed in Austria in the 1840s. In 1849, for example, they sent unmanned bomb-filled balloons to attack Venice, and similar techniques were used in the following years in various campaigns, with the Nazis being particularly fond of using drone-like vehicles to deal damage, destruction, and death. It's the U.S. military that really pushed forward the development of drone technology in recent years, though, and in the 1990s, UAVs were used to launch Predator and Hellfire missiles against ground targets. Since then, at least 50 different countries have employed drones within their militaries, and it was the understanding learned from their development that led to the much smaller consumer models that are now on sale. Number 4. Aerosol Bug Spray no matter where you live in the world, the chances are that at certain times of the year, flying insects become an issue when you're outside. It's definitely more of a problem in places with warmer climates, though, and luckily we now have a number of ways of combating the problem. This wasn't always the case, though, and surprisingly, aerosol bug sprays were only invented as recently as the Second World War. During fighting, soldiers who were stationed in the South Pacific would encounter swarms of mosquitoes, and this was a particular risk because of the spread of malaria. The Department of Defense enlisted two scientists from the Department of Agriculture, Lyle Goodhue and William Sullivan, to find a way to deliver insecticide as a fine mist. 
The first aerosol can was patented in 1941 and nicknamed the Bug Bomb by troops, and further work involved creating a valve that could be used on pressurized cans for commercial sale and various other chemicals that are compatible with the delivery mechanism. It proved to be a lifesaver in the South Pacific during the war, and sprays like this have become regular sights in homes around the world. While they may not save as many civilian lives as other inventions, they certainly help control a major nuisance and have made outdoor living far more pleasurable. Number 3. Jet Engines when powered flight was first invented, it relied on the use of propellers to generate the forward motion needed to take off into the skies. This remained the principal way that aircraft worked for the next 40 years, and fighters that took part in the Second World War were of this design too. Military scientists and designers were continually looking for alternatives though, and the first person to propose the idea of a jet engine was Frank Whittle, who filed his first patent in 1930. It was only towards the end of the Second World War, though, that sufficient funds and manpower were diverted to developing the technology to try to get an edge over the enemy. And it was actually the Nazis who got there first with their Messerschmitt Me 262. Fortunately, parts were in short supply, so they weren't able to build many of them. But it was only after the war that the US and allies began building jet aircraft designs of their own. And it was during the Cold War that they became the true force of the skies. Of course, commercial air travel now almost fully relies on jet engines, and we simply wouldn't be able to travel the world in the way that we do had they not been invented, showing that sometimes the race for superiority during a war can lead to developments that transform the world in non-violent ways. Number 2. Synthetic Rubber Motor vehicles became commonplace around the world in the first half of the 20th century and were particularly important to militaries across the globe to traverse large distances. To allow them to cover varying terrain, tires were put on wheels and traditionally these would be made from rubber. Originally, this rubber was sourced from trees in South America, but countries in Southern Asia such as Malaysia soon became the biggest producers and suppliers of all. This wasn't too much of a problem until World War II, when Japan took control of the region and cut off rubber supplies to Allied forces. As well as being used for tires, rubber was important in the construction of aircraft, tanks, and battleships, and Allied forces were faced with the prospect of being unable to build any more equipment. The United States government turned to companies like Firestone and Goodyear for help, and this project led to the companies coming up with a recipe for synthetic rubber that would behave in virtually an identical way to its natural counterpart. Factories were quickly built that could produce large volumes of the synthetic compound, and it kept the war machine going. As it's arguably far easier to produce synthetic rubber locally than to ship natural rubber around the world, the synthetic version is now the one that's most commonly used in the tire industry, which means that had it not been for shortages more than 80 years ago, the design of your car could be very different. Number 1. GPS Whenever you're trying to travel somewhere new, it's likely you'll enter it into your favorite mapping software that will give you a route from your current location. It'll continue to track your movements to give you up-to-date information, and the technology that underpins this service is one of the most important military inventions ever. Humans have for centuries used various different ways to determine exactly where they are and how to get to where they're going. But following the Second World War in the 1960s, the U.S. Department of Defense began working on a revolutionary idea, a system of satellites in orbit that could determine a user's position. It would do this by connecting to the user with three satellites in different locations, and the distance from each one could be used to triangulate their precise location. At first, the benefit was for the military, so campaigns could be planned and executed far more efficiently. Things changed while the system was still in development in the 1980s, though, when a Korean airliner was shot down by Soviet Union forces after deviating from its planned route. Ronald Reagan decided to ensure GPS would be made available for civilian use, too. So by the time the network was fully operational in 1994, commercial devices were already being developed. In the time since, the technology has been substantially upgraded, but there's still a distinction between civilian and military use. The military has access to a much more secure and precise version of GPS that's reliable enough to deploy weapons and engage targets, while the consumer version is slightly less accurate, but more than good enough for personal navigation.
Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.